This is Gigi's channel where we share our expertise. Hello, this is Vasavi here. In this video, we are going to learn about the car formula. Car formula. So you write the car as C A H. Okay. C stands for cosine theta. A is the adjacent side and H is your hypotenuse. In order to find the cosine of a triangle in trigonometry, you will need to understand the Carr formula, which is a part of the larger mnemonic of saw Carr tour. The Carr formula here in this simply outlines the fact that the cosine is equal to the length of the adjacent side over the hypotenuse side. This we have already discussed. Here I thought I'll do few problems with the car formula. So I have taken three different type of problem, types of problem. Okay. So the first one, the adjacent side is unknown. They have given you the theta and the hypotenuse. Here you need to find the adjacent side. In the second one, adjacent side is given and your theta is given, angle is given, you need to find the hypotenuse. And the last one, the third one, they have given you the adjacent as well as the hypotenuse side and you need to find the angle here, the theta here. For all these three, we are going to use the same car formula because these problems deals with the adjacent and hypotenuse side. So they have given you this theta that is 30. They have given you the angle as 30. And this side they ask you to find out. So that would be x and here this hypotenuse side is given. So you know the side next to the theta beside this theta is your adjacent side. And this one is your hypotenuse side, right? So let's apply the car formula here. So you know cos 30 is equal to cos theta. Theta is 30 in this problem. So it is cos 30 would be adjacent side. Here adjacent side is given as x. We are to find out this value over the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse here is 2. Now let's look into the value of cos 30 in the using your calculator I, I i remind you again you have to have it in the degree mode the calculator should be in the degree mode to find the cos 30 okay so the angle cos 30 it would show 0 0.8660 okay i told you you can just take the four digit after the decimal point you can uh, round it off to four decimal places. So I get this is equal to x over 2. Now you need to uh, remove this 2, denominator 2, right? For that you multiply both the sides by 2. You times it by 2, okay? So what happens? This would give you 1.7 3, 2, 0, right? Equals, here the 2 will get cancelled. So you have x. Now we have got the side x. x is the adjacent side. And we have got it as 1.7320. You can make it, since it is the side length, you can have just one number after the decimal place. Since the second, this number is less than 5, you can just omit this and your answer would be, your x value would be 1.7. So, hope you understood this. Let's move on to the second problem. The angle is here, 37. And they have given you the adjacent side as 4.2. So, this one is given as 4.2. The hypotenuse is to be found out. So that's x. Again, since the adjacent side and hypotenuse sides are involved, I apply the cos formula. So that is cos theta 
is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So that would be cos. Cos 37 equals adjacent side is 4.2 over the hypotenuse. Hypotenuse is x here, right? Now, multiply both sides by x. So what happens? You get x times cos 37 equals the x would go from here. You get 4.2. Now, bring the cost to bring to remove the cost from your left hand side you divide both sides by cos 37 right so this is what we're going to find out so this cos 37 and cos 37 will cut and uh, you would have your x as 4.2 over cos 37 so that's nothing but 4.2 over, use your calculator and find cos 37. That is going to be 0. I've just rounded off to 4 decimal places and that is 0 0.7986. Okay. Divide that. You get the value for x as 5.2590. And I told you, since it is the side, you just need one digit, right? After the decimal point. Since this is 5, when you have 5 or more as the next digit, you have to add 1 to the previous one. So, our x is 5.3. Isn't that easy? The third one. They have given you the adjacent side and the hypotenuse. So this is given as 63 and this one is given as 80. You are to find out this theta. Problem involves the adjacent side and the hypotenuse side. So we go in for the car formula. Cos theta is equal to adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's nothing but cos theta because we don't know the theta you just keep it as theta and adjacent side is 63 we are plugging in the values so this is 80 0 0.7875 so cos theta is this so how do you find the theta I told you to find the angle you use the inverse function so you use cos inverse of 0 0.7875. When you do the inverse function, you get 38.0475, something like that. You just need to round it off to the nearest degree, right? So that would be 38 degrees. So your theta is 38 degrees here. Hope you would have understood this. So this is how we use the car formula in three different situations. Thank you.